the guru of Squad Double Zero. The assassin I know the yes I'm the best at what I do. One of the most notorious YouTube anime and manga community. Don't doubt my name for me, please. While my bear account may not seem high, lethal. Yo, man. A win when Logia has been activating his abilities or somebody's conquers hockey. I, I don't know what it is. Yo, it's been so windy today. Where I'm at, yo. I, I'm not even joking. It's been so windy. When I went to work this morning, right, my job, no less than 25 uh, miles per hour winds. I'm not playing with y'all. It is crazy right now. But do y'all really care about that? No, y'all come here for that One Piece. Or that One Piece greatness. One Piece. Chapter 7, 7, 7. Triple 7s, baby. Let's go. Is 7 the perfect number? We're going 3 score. <laughs> 3 times? I don't know. But anyways, 7s minus 7s. All these sevens. Zoro versus Pikachu. Can we know? Look, we already knew. If you if you've been following my reviews, my live reviews, you already knew. I've already told y'all was coming. I already broke it down for the people. Alright? This is what in and plus it makes logical sense, you know, Zoro Pika versus before the whole Luffy versus Heavenly Demon. Don Quixote Door for the mean boy Joker is about to go down. But did we we know what time it is. It gives us the title of Zoro versus Pika. Zoro versus Pika. Now a lot of people are displeased by this fight. Don't really know why. I guess because the action horror, you know, it's not really a fight. All Pika's doing is dodge. Look, he's using his abilities. It's called intelligence, ladies and gentlemen. Intelligence. Zoro is not a cakewalk. This dude, like, let, let, let's review this OP ability. He is a rock absorption man. He can use any stone. Manipulate it in any way he wants to. Zoro can't find a dude. They clashed. Multiple times. They clashed and kept clashing with their swords. Neither side was phased. Zoro was using Santoryu. His most powerful sword techniques. This is fact. He is used. To 1080. 1080 pound cannon. Three times powerful than any other technique. We've seen in the uh, pre-time skip, right? Even though he used it casually, he still has yet to be able to defeat Pika. He clearly said Pika's got something. He's got something in store. Okay, this dude is no joke. He is the right hand of Do Flamingo. Now people talk about Virgo, Vice Admiral Virgo. First of all, how is Virgo seriously? How is Virgo seriously beating Pika? Explain this to me. Virgo is pretty much. A close range fire. He's almost entirely close range fire. Okay, that's fact. How is he going to beat Pico? This dude, he's able to make a giant statue that's able to throw a town sized punch. That's just one thing. You feel me? Able to just move the entire portion of an island, an entire plateau. He reshaped a plateau. Are you serious? What is Virgo gonna do against that? Please explain. But besides that, even though it was say that Virgo was the most trusted, he was the heart seat. If he was the vice captain, if he was the first mate, why on earth was he not there? Why on earth is is Zoro fighting Pika rather than Virgo? Just think of, think about these logically. But anyways, we on to the cover story. Volume 22 of Jimbe, first son of the sea, solo voyage. Alright. Everybody being reacquainted. Oh, it's a cute thing. Oh, it's so cute. And we're getting all the situation dealt with. Apologies for the chaos and reconciliation reunions among other things. Alright, everybody getting their act together. Dude, stay crying, though, big boy. Wada, Wada, Wada Matsu, or whatever the hell his name is. Ooh! Right into the chapter. Alright. Alright, we're getting. Memories of various events. King Riku. First of all, King Riku. Yo, that that face is very solemn. Oh, the memories of Diamante killing Lady Scarlet. Shot down. Memories of that day coming on. Yo. King Riku was in an abandoned building. 
I thought it was senior. The way the the way the uh, the hoodie was at, I thought it was uh, senior Pete for a second. He was sort of Diamante laughing it up to Vio Violet, aka Viola. Look at that face in her young days. I was his sister. She was stocking up food in the city market. She just ignored her stomach a little longer. She'd be a lot of day. Fool. Dude's such a villain, man. Now, Treble is he's borderline. Pico is an antagonist. But definitely Doflamingo and uh, Diamante are villains. The memories. Mm. Captain of the God. Oh, Tank. Yeah. Lady Viola, you mustn't. Don't be rash. We will protect you. Yo, was she she was either gonna attack Diamante or commit suicide. I'm not sure which. Strikes him down. Now people were like, yo, he he's not gonna be much of uh, he gets swords broken. Yo, he gets yo, this reminds me of a dude in the Bible. He gets the wooden peg treatment. The wooden peg yo, some people may find it funny. Oh, that's what Yo, he gets knocked out. Knocked unconscious. He's done. The blood. Blood stain on the carpet. Oh, Annie, are you okay? You okay? You okay, Annie? Diamante, are you okay? No, you're done. Will he kill him or not? Snap. Yo! Did he snap his... Yo, did he snap his neck? Is Diamante dead? Now, I've been predicting Diamante Day, but did he die like that? Boy, am, I, am I really reading really that? Did Diamante die because his neck got snapped? I remember what I was thinking of. I remember um, in the book of Judges, a guy in the Bible, he had a, a peg driven through his head. Literally hammered through his head. The blood, the blood, Diamante. Remembers. Robin is all smiles. Her back is running. Robin's grown in her her ability. Very nice. That's a that's a nice looking picture. It's like a sunny day. If this, if this wasn't in such a morbid situation, uh, such a serious situation. It would, it would seem like a very, very nice picture. Robin got beat. Yo, Robin... Robin got bloodied. She took some blows from the spikes. As we see in this picture here. Okay. Must get your wounds treated. Hey, we're... Memories. This scene... This takes it back to the first day uh, he, when he was a toy, a toy soldier. Mm. Is Robin gonna pass out now? Diamante has been defeated. Alright, Viola sees it. Kairos Nisama. Rebecca was unharmed, Nico Robin protected her. The family's top executive. Hero of the Coliseum, really? Kairos is the original undefeated Hero of the Coliseum. That's right, baby. Still undefeated, baby. Let's go. Don Quixote. Why is it that the Don Quixote family has different... It has two different... Like, it's when it comes to the family and by other people, it has like a J. Don Quixote. I get the whole... Uh, when you think about it, the Espanol, the Spanish uh, reference with the J. But then there's the whole X. So it makes... Makes for interesting. The differences in spells. We thought they were unbeatable. It's crumbling one member at a time. Kairos, Commander Kairos. Let's see. Okay, we begin it with Senior Pink. The other ones, Warrior supporting Straw Hat to move. The remaining upper tier. Don Quixote family are full. So Bellamy's actually in Bellamy the hyena. So Bellamy's actually included in the 
Don Quixote family? I mean, he was never technically on the ship, but I guess he is an executive. So once again, Luffy's got to take down two guys, two top, two of the top dudes. Classic. People sleep on Bellamy. Two top executives. Pika and Trable. Right, that's what I'm wondering. How, who's going to handle Trable? That's just been my question for video, for chapters upon chapters. Colonel King of Dressrosa, Shichimika, Doflamo. <laughs> People begin to sleep. Because I be talking about Luffy defeating Doflamingo. People think I... They don't understand my love for Doflamingo, though. Apparently not. Doflamingo is that dude, man. No. We're actually gonna take these people's heads in an effort to save ourselves. How selfish. How foolish. We stop noticing something. Let's see. We stop still on the deck. So how how fast has the have these events been going on recently? I don't believe my life is in danger. I'm going out to the city. So I'll be useful. Can't allow us to rely on the world government and Marines forever. Everyone still in town has hope. Probably distraught. No one is expecting them to make it out of this. Usopp asked about Admiral Fujitora. Kanju was like, he's down in the city. Been gone a while. And Fujitora was like, gather up all the townspeople so we can protect them in a single area. In the Royal Plateau. Fujitora. And here's the thing, people. Fujitora. Admiral Fujitora. You have Frankie. Usopp. Robin. Definitely Zora. You had uh, Admiral Fujitora and Sabo all put their hope and faith in Luffy. What does that tell you? Father, what's that earthquake? Yo. Ooh, spikes. Like large pillar esque spikes. I don't know how really. Let me do it. Let me see if I can zoom in. Pika's really going in. Yo, Robin thought <laughs> she's voiced what a lot of the One Piece fans said. That's the guy that Zoro should have already taken care of. No. Wait, Rebecca is it getting public. Diamante, how pathetic of you. Oh, Pika popped up! Yo, Pika popped up! Yo, Pika popped up! <laughs> It reminds, I'm trying to remember what it reminds me. It reminds me of something. Kyle's was like, yo, I didn't just come here for one-on-one. -on -one. I'm going to take all these seconds now. <laughs> Rebecca's like, yo, you could barely move. What you talking about? Ah, loving the dialogue. Let me ask you something. Just what exactly is King Rufi to all of you? Becker, you endured years of booze and insults thanks to that man. Kel's like, don't give me all that. Becker's like, no, give me all that now. Y'all were the ones who destroyed his reputation in the first place. He's my stepfather, according to Kairos. A man who stood by me ever since the days when I was a villain. He's my savior. The Riku royal family. Mi familia. One of the precious few things I have in this world. I understand the true meaning of peace. Oh, in this entire world, I don't understand the true meaning of peace. This entire country is fervently praying for the arrival of the day when he kicks your bastards out of this country. He takes his right for place him through once again. Once again, people! King Riku is still there, okay? Then you have Viola, aka Violet. Kairos has forsaken the nation. He can easily join the strides. You say, then you have Rebecca as heir. We have three in the place. Kairos. Oh, Kairos become king. 
to his sister's dead to his wife's dead sister his dead wife's sister he's gonna marry her Klaus does not need to be king King Riku's too old no he's not that old please stop please stop he cannot be older than Garp and Sengoku I'm just saying Oh, Rayleigh. Quite an earful. Okay. What do we got here? Disappeared. Now he's headed to level 3. Back to Zoro. Level 2. Back to Zoro. Do you even want to fight? I can't end this. If all you're going to do is hide inside the plateau. That's so how you get by raid. Zoro's getting frustrated. Lord Pika. Yo! Pika's not playing. He doesn't care. She's just wrecking everybody. Everybody's getting wrecked. No matter if you're a friend or foe, ally or not. Yo, comrade, you're done. Those are injured people. Zoro is pissed. Oh, he pissed off Zoro. You know what time it is. Yay! Yes, let's go. Need a pissed off Zoro. So you betrayed us, baby. Five. He's going after baby five now. Oh, Pika's not playing games, bro. Stone Miller. Wait, did he just? Yo, sidekicks are out the way, and he just crushed side. Don Jinja. Charleston. Yo, Ideo, or Ideo, however you want to say it. Baby Five, Dungeon, everybody who's battled are getting tossed around. Going after <laughs> Zoro's not playing. You don't play that stuff. Hey, Roar no Zoro, do you know? Bitestone, he told you. One sword. I didn't need no translation. One sword style. Weakest one. Devil Horse. Zoro doesn't. Now, people talk about Zoro getting that new uh, bounty or whatever, which he's long needed to. Bite Stone, Devil Horse. So we're just cutting down the stone. I'm I'm confused. What is what is Pico really saying? Is he gonna attack King Riku? Yep, he's after the king. Uva, oh. He went, yo, intelligent as hell. Yo, so Pika diverted, you know, in his fight with Zoro, he, he did all this and that and moved around so much to get Zoro out of the way so that now he can zip line back to the king. Very nice. Pico can destroy an entire plateau with a single punch. Very nice. Summon the king will be crushed immediately. Playing a fire slap. Bartolome was like, "Yo, I, I can't, I can't block. He's too, he's too far." This is, yo, how tall? Seriously, people, help me out. How tall do you think Pico, this giant statue, is? That's huge. Plan A, fire slash. All right, Zoro's thinking. Plan B, try to jump up to where they are. No, there's no way I can make it. Unless if I fall, that'll be the end of me. 
Joel's got durability, but he's saying if I fall from that height, bro, even I ain't surviving that one. Mm -hmm. Scream out loud as I can to warn Usopp and the others of danger. There's no way they hear me at this distance. Contact them on Jindimushi. Zoro's thinking. Alright, I like this. Trying to get the hell out of there. Problems is, I don't have a Jindimushi. Okay, you're very limited in your options here. Ooh, the locks. The locks are real. The locks are real. Plenty. Leap into the sky. Cut him down. Cut him in half. Plenty. Does ah! he have something up his Uh oh. Oh, he pulled the fan up. It's over. It's over. Man, you know what time it is, man. Oh, man. Pull the bandana out. Pull the bandana out. You know what time it is. So, bandana song. Oh, this is this is nostalgic. This is the first time we've seen it. The entire time skip. The entire time skip. Man. Oh, my goodness. Oh wow! Wow! Eh, we were wondering if we were just gonna pull it out. Zoro just got serious. Zoro just got serious. He cutting this sucker down, cutting down Mount Size Peak. Um, overall, I thought it was an excellent chapter. I really did. You know, once again, One Piece pacing and signs is not all that much. Um, uh, but we did get some excellent elements. Um, the flashback and the connection with everybody. Parts that we did not see yet different perspectives King Riku uh, Viola Tank we also got Zoro and actually thinking actually how he thinks somewhat during the battle which we don't see all that often and which I do thoroughly enjoy um, it, it gives insight into the character the character the way his mind works as well as we also got Pika Pika's intelligence is very much underrated because people, you know, they think Zoro's supposed to just get this guy out of the way. He sucks, blah, 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 and all this extra jazz. Oh, the Don Quixote family sucks. When in fact, this dude is powerful as hell. Like, Kairos isn't being it. And injured or not, how many of these folks on this island are honestly standing up to Pika? Seriously. Um, you know, Zoro and Pika have been going at it for a good minute. That should be a testament to this dude's prowess. You can say what you want, but he's utilizing his devil fruit ability quite effectively. Zoro's no joke, so Pika can't just be plowing over the dude, and Zoro can't just plow over this dude either. That should just be a testament to how powerful this dude actually is, okay? Zoro would have fought the other cats. I mean, but at the same time, we got a confirmation on a few things. Uh, you know, Bellamy, the Bellamy Luffy situation. How is that going to go down? That's very interesting. Um, as well as what's going to happen with Pika, what's going to happen with Claw, Do Flamingo, when Luffy uh, enters the scene. So I'm thinking we're going to get this situation resolved uh, next chapter, but Fujitora is still there to protect everybody. I think he's going to have to seriously protect because this island should not be standing, or at least much of it, uh, by the end of this arc. Because the fight between Luffy and Do Flamingo is going to wreck shop. I mean, what Zoro's about to do may just wreck shop. Right, so, I'm just curious. What all is going to be left to dress Rosa, really? I mean, some of these fights may have to go to Green Bay. I'm being, being serious. But then you have this own time, so. But anyways, you're expected one of like, comment, subscribe. Tell me your thoughts on the chapter. It was it was nice. It was very nice to see. Um, classic Zoro. Uh, good updates on the situation. Good clarification on a few other factors. And, uh, yeah. Until next time, y'all. Have a beautiful day, beautiful night. Peace. Again, 8.5 out of 10. Excellent chapter. Outstanding, I should say, chapter of One Piece.